Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be comparing two facial self tanners. I feel like it's been a little bit since I've done a comparison video and a facial self tanner video. So today's the day. We are gonna be comparing my beloved Bondi Sands Pure Self Tanning Sleep Mask and the Beauty by Earth Face Self Tanner. Similar products, so I wanted to see which one I end up liking more. I'm obsessed with this one, so I want to see if this one is just as good, if not better. So it's going to be lots of fun today. Before we get started, though, please give this video a thumbs up for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You get a self-tanner video every week, and you get two makeup videos every week. So do not miss out, you guys. Subscribe. Please join the family. But if you want to see my comparison between these two, stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, guys, I am very excited to be comparing these two because they just seem like very similar products to me. And I feel like I've compared this one to so many different facial self tanners. And I feel like this one has won pretty much every time. So I wanted to see if this one could take its place or if this one is still on top for like the cream facial self tanner kind of thing so yeah it's gonna be lots of fun obviously i'm putting one on one side one on the other side so we could see what they look like next to each other and compare and i'm just gonna read some details for you guys on their websites so i know i mentioned briefly in a past video but i want to make you guys aware anyways because it's coming up in a week and a half you guys so i am having septo rhinoplasty in a week and a half literally less than two weeks and i am just like in disbelief like i am freaking out a little bit but i'm very very excited um so i'm gonna pre-record some videos for you guys so i don't miss any uploads and then like the week of my recovery i'm gonna be vlogging like i want to document the whole experience i guess for you guys so that video will be going up on my channel in the near future and then i figured in that week since i'll be recovering and not really wanting to put much makeup on my face or not really able to i will probably do like a little house video for you guys i know i mentioned before i was gonna do that and i held off because i figured in my head i'm like well that's the perfect time because i can't talk about makeup so i am gonna do a little house video for you guys like show you whatever progress we've made in the house so lots of stuff to come but i did want to make you guys aware so you're not surprised when you see like some stuff going on on my face but yeah anyways back to this i have both of these pulled up on the websites so the first one i have is the bondi sands pure self tanning sleep mask it goes for 25 dollars standard pricing it's 2.5 ounces so that's a really really good size for a facial self tanner so that's actually very good pricing for the size that you get because it's usually one ounce and then the description says pure self tanning sleep mask combines bondi sands iconic golden glow with skin loving hyaluronic acid for hydration vitamin c for brightening and vitamin e for repair it says use overnight to wake up to hydrated glowing skin highly nourishing and hydrating lotion that deeply penetrates skin hyaluronic acid for hydration vitamin c for radiance vitamin e for rejuvenation blah 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 dermatologically tested non-comedogenic so it won't clog pores cruelty free and vegan fragrance free free from parabens dyes and sulfates it's uh made with recyclable plastic colorless fragrance free again quick drying gentle for sensitive skin so lots of good stuff on this and then the beauty by earth it is it's the beauty by earth face self tanner so this one goes for this website's very confusing how much does this cost it's 31.39 i guess that is the price if I'm seeing this correctly. This website is very confusing. Let's just go with that. 31, 39, and it's three fluid ounces. So it's like six or seven dollars more expensive 
than the Bondi Sands, but you get like an additional half ounce of product in there. So we'll see, maybe it is worth it. And then it says, Face Self Tanner, give your face that beach glow without leaving home. Our vegan and cruelty free face self tanner lets you build your tan one layer at a time to get your ideal level of bronze without any dyes or harsh fragrance. Best of all, it won't clog pores or trigger breakouts. You'll get a oh so forgiving glow that will hide acne, scars, and discoloration while giving you a confidence boost. Um, I picked the medium to dark, of course. And then it says it's perfect for getting a beautiful tan without the sun damage or harsh chemicals, blurring acne, scars, wrinkles, and veins, and evening out discoloration for a healthy glow. It says smells like coconuts, non-comedogenic, cruelty-free, vegan, plastic neutral product. So I feel like you can kind of see a theme here. Like they both seem to be very like natural, I guess and both like not supposed to clog your pores both a cream they're both supposed to have really good color i can tell you both of them do have really good color so very similar products so i'm very anxious to see how similar they are on the face um so i'm gonna start applying that's really all i have to say as of right now about both of them i don't know what i like more packaging wise i feel like this one is very cute with like the brown and white it's very it's like earthy you know and this one is just very classic it's like a white on a blue just really pretty so i don't know they're both cool they're both like a plastic packaging super easy to travel with so i like both um i am gonna put the bondi sands on the left side of my face and the beauty by earth on the right side of my face so anyways now we could get started i'm gonna stop like blabbering and let's go Okay, I'm back. I just finished applying both. So obviously they both went on clear. Neither of them have like a tint to them, which I like for the face. Um, just feels better to me for the face. They have literally like the same consistency, you guys. I wanna say the Beauty by Earth is maybe just like a tiny, tiny bit thicker than the Bondi Sands, but it's like hardly even noticeable. You'd never tell if you weren't paying attention. Um, the Beauty by Earth one definitely smells better than the Bondi Sands. I know the Bondi Sands one online says it's fragrance free, but it has kind of like a weird like sour cream kind of smell to it. I know like I use that to describe sometimes, but sometimes tanners really do smell like that. The Beauty by Earth one really did just smell coconutty and it smelled really nice. It was subtle. Bondi Sands, like, it smells weird, but once you put it on your face, it goes away, so it's really not bad. They're both pretty quick drying, like, I put one on right after the other, and they both feel exactly the same on both sides of my face right now. Um, I look the same on both sides, both very easy to apply, both super comfortable to wear. I feel like my skin is hydrated, so both are really nice. I don't dislike anything about either of them, except for the smell of the Bondi Sands one. Otherwise, they're like the same. Just this one feels a little bit thicker, so if you want something a little bit more lightweight, keep that in mind. But yeah, so that's all I've got right now. I'm gonna go sleep on both of these, and then tomorrow, once I wake up and wash my face, I'll come back, show you guys similarities, differences, and let you know which one I think is more worth your money. So I will see you guys in the morning. Okay guys, I'm back, it's the next day. Here is my face on both sides. So as of last night, I feel like I kind of forgot I was wearing two different self tanners. I feel like they both, after I put them on, felt exactly the same. I didn't notice really any differences. Smells of both went away, like nothing too significant. So both were super, super comfortable. But then this morning when I woke up and I looked in the mirror, I saw this side of my face, which was the Beauty by Earth side, was a little bit darker than the Bondi Sand side. So I was like shocked. Like I had to take a second and be like, hold on, which one did I put on which side of my face? Cause and it definitely was the Beauty by Earth side that was darker. 
and I feel like that still kind of shows like you could see I kind of went over the line a little bit with like putting it down the middle but you could see like this side of my face is a little bit lighter than this side it's obviously not a huge difference but I feel like you could definitely see where it's like it goes from lighter to darker so the Beauty by Earth on my right side is definitely the darker side I feel like they both are very like natural looking on my face like I don't think either side looks splotchy or patchy or bad or anything like that neither of them are accentuating my pores really either I feel like they look pretty much the same on both sides just the Beauty by Earth side is a little bit darker. So that's the main thing that I'm noticing. Obviously, like I had said last night, the Beauty by Earth side is a little bit thicker. Um, so if you want something that's just a tiny bit more lightweight, you can go with the Bondi Sands. Um, it is a little bit more lightweight feeling and it's just a tiny, tiny bit not as dark but I really, really love both you guys. I think if you're looking for more color, go with the Beauty by Earth side. To be honest, I'm a little bit shocked because nothing has been able to beat the Bondi Sands Pure Sleep Mask as far as like how dark it gets. I feel like this one has been the winner in like pretty much every comparison video I've done for like the cream consistencies. So I'm really shocked because I don't remember the Beauty by Earth one being as dark as it is but it's pretty dark so I am like pleasantly surprised I am picking the Beauty by Earth one because it did give me a little bit more color and I feel like they're pretty much the same in every other aspect so for like nine more dollars you get an extra half ounce and you get more color and you know it's a good brand that's like clean vegan cruelty free it has good ingredients this one does, or I mean the Bondi Sands one does have like certain skincare ingredients in it that the Beauty by Earth one doesn't, like the hyaluronic acid, vitamin C. So if that's super important for you, go with the Bondi Sands one. But if you just want the color and the size and pretty much everything else being the same, go with Beauty by Earth. I love both. I'm still going to use both, but if I have to choose a winner, it's going to be the Beauty by Earth one. So I am shocked, but I'm happy. <laughs> so that's it for today. Comment and let me know your thoughts, which one you like better. If you see any differences that I didn't mention, just let me know what you think. What else you guys want me to review? Give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.